Sax Roma's Limehouse. A place that never was. Yet always is. Limehouse is a district that exudes a sense of unease and foreboding, a place where the shadows seem to linger a little longer and the fog seems to cling a little tighter. The streets are narrow and winding, lined with old brick buildings that loom tall and menacing. The cobblestone roads are slick with a patina of moisture. The only light emanates from flickering gas lamps that struggle to push back the darkness. The district is situated on the northern bank of the river Thames, and the river's presence is felt throughout Limehouse. The sound of water lapping against the shore is constant, a monotonous symphony that seems to mock the hustle and bustle of the district. The fog drifting in from the river is thick and impenetrable, turning this warren of streets into a labyrinth of shadows and mystery. The district is known for opium dens, gambling halls, prostitution, criminal gangs, and other forms of vice. The air is thick with the scent of opium smoke, tobacco, and the murmur of whispered secrets. The streets are lined with seedy establishments, their warm lights beckoning with promises of vice and debauchery. The district is also known for its dockyards and the presence of Chinese immigrants, adding a unique flavor to the district. The streets are filled with the sounds of Chinese chatter and the smell of exotic spices. But the Chinese presence also brings with it a sense of danger and whispered rumors of criminal organizations led by the infamous Fu Man Chu and his henchmen. The dockyards are a hive of activity during the day, with ships and boats coming in and out of port. But at night, they take on a sinister quality. The creaking of the ships and the sound of water lapping against the shore creates a sense of unease, as if the very river itself is trying to lure you in. The sound of boat horns, the creaking of ships, the splashing of water, and the cries of seagulls all add to the eerie atmosphere of the district. Perhaps the most unsettling sound is that of the bells, which ring out through the district from the ships, signaling danger. And calling out to the lost souls who wander the streets of Limehouse. In Limehouse, one can never be sure what lurks around the next corner, and the district exudes a sense of menace that is palpable in the very air. It is a place where the line between beauty and danger is blurred, where shadows seem to hold secrets, and where fog hides horrors that lurk just out of sight. As night falls and the district is plunged into darkness, the streets become even more treacherous. Shadows seem to stretch and shift, as if they have a life of their own. Gas lamps flicker, casting an eerie light that only serves to heighten a sense of danger. The district's secluded nature and winding streets make it easy for one to become lost. And the fog, which seems to roll in at the most inopportune moments, only adds to a sense of disorientation and confusion. The district's inhabitants are a diverse and colorful cast of characters, each with their own secrets and agendas. The dock workers, sailors, and immigrants all bring their own stories and experiences to the district, adding to its rich tapestry. But amongst them are also the criminals, the outcasts, and the desperate, who are drawn to the seedy underbelly of Limehouse. The district is a melting pot of cultures, a haven for criminals and outcasts. But it also casts a powerful spell of fascination seducing those who are attracted to the darkness and mystery. The district's criminal organizations, led by Fu Man Chu, are a constant threat, their nefarious schemes and sinister machinations always lurking in the background. Their presence is felt throughout the district, in the hushed whispers and furtive glances of the inhabitants. Then there are the murders, the disappearances, and the strange occurrences that seem to plague the district. Bloated corpses fished out of the Thames, 
screams in the night, and the flash of a knife blade all add to the sense of unease and danger that pervades Limehouse. The district's inhabitants live in constant fear, never knowing when they may become the next victim. The police are rumoured to be indifferent, incompetent, or corrupt and in the pocket of criminal organisations, leaving the inhabitants to fend for themselves. But amidst all the darkness and danger, there are also moments of beauty and wonder. The district's proximity to the river provides stunning views of the Thames and the London skyline. There's also a strong sense of community in Chinatown. Residents of Chinatown have formed a tight-knit community that is both lively and welcoming, at least in daylight. Chinese immigrants have brought their rich culture and traditions to the enclave, adding a sense of mysticism to the district. In Limehouse, one never knows what to expect. It's a place where the line between good and evil is blurred, where danger and intrigue lurk around every corner. It's a place that captures the imagination and holds a powerful fascination, seducing those who are drawn to the darkness and mystery. It's a place where anything is possible and where the impossible becomes reality. But be warned. Those who enter Limehouse may never return, as the district has a way of ensnaring its visitors, drawing them into its web of danger, intrigue, and darkness, never to be seen again.